Alright guys, so we are here at the Great Neck Station on the Port Washington branch. So for today, we will be doing another uh, station tour on the PWB. The last time that we did do a tour was back in September of 2020 when we did the Murray Hill 2.0 station tour. For this video, there is going to be a lot of changes made, uh, specifically in the station info and in the rating segment. We are not going to go off tangent for those two segments. You're going to notice that there will be a lot of changes with those two specifically. And so before we get all the segments started, for today, we're going to welcome back our ambassador of the Metro North, and that is Rafael A9. So there he is, once again. He is representing the Metro North. And at a certain point, when we do a station tour on the Metro North, we will be unveiling his ambassador shirt for the channel and to project. However, for the next upcoming segment, it'll be a special one because this is the first time that I do something like this. And that is unveil an ambassador shirt for the channel itself for the Long Island Railroad. So as you guys know, the ambassador of the Port Washington branch is Mocha 18. And so, for the next segment, once again, I will be unveiling her shirt. I will be showing you guys how it looks. And you know what? You let me know what you think of it. Because if anything, I once again use the site Custom Ink to do it. And, you know, the shipping was pretty good because it came fast. You know, I was really surprised about that. So, coming up next will be the unveiling of your ambassador shirt on the PWB. Once again, if you guys did recall the video that I did, well, specifically for the ambassadors that are on this channel, I did promise that I will be gifting every single one of them an ambassador shirt for all the hard work that they did and for all the help that they provided me. Because once again, guys, I'm not really a pro when it comes down to the Long Island Road. The first time that I did go on it was back in 2017. And ever since 2017, that's when I was starting to get more and more knowledge with the railroad. My Jew has been now four years, and now I'm starting to get more knowledge when it comes down to the LIWR. Drum roll. The moment you've been waiting for, this is your ambassador shirt for the Port Washington branch. So as you can see here, guys, you have the logo of the Long Island Railroad on the left-hand side. Of course, on the right, you have the American flag, because why not? Pride for America, right? Then you have, of course, uh, the name of the branch or the terminal, Port Washington. And then down below, that's uh, the picture of the Borough of Queens, the map of Queens. You can see it's from the Borough of Queens, and I might as well put that right there. And for the back, this is how it looks. Ambassador's name, Mocha Etienne. In the top, you see the name, and then on the bottom, is followed by the number. And then on the upper right hand, well, on the top portion of the shirt, that is a cross. That is just a customization that I made, of course, specifically for the ambassadors. That is the way the shirt looks. And so since the Port Washington line is red, then might as well, the, the shirt should be colored red. So there you go, guys. That is the shirt. And uh, once again, this fits more than likely everyone, I guess. Once again, next up would be Ralph Fairy Night for the next one. Uh, he already said he wants the color green, so for your shirt, it'll more than likely be green. I'll customize some stuff up, and you know, you'll get your shirt because uh, that is a gift once again for the ambassadors for helping me out. For me, it's you know, it's it's just great that you know there are viewers out there that watch the channel and you know that reach out and say, hey, you know, you know, I want to collaborate. You know, I want to help you out, even though you know I not know so much about the stadium tours. I will help you out and to improve your knowledge when it comes down to real. So when that happens. When there is viewers that do that, that means that, you know, they care and I, I feel appreciated. And so that's great. And so because of all this, because all the hard work, I decided to, you know, spoil you guys with the ambassador shirt. So with that in mind, this is the first of many. And so hopefully from here, we can get more shirts going. So coming up next will be your info segment, followed by the great next stage tour.
All right, guys. So we will begin now the tour of your great next station on the Long Island Railroad, Port Washington Branch. So we're deciding to rush things up because unfortunately the weather is not being nice today, and it's actually raining right now. So we're actually going to have to do this a little bit faster than usual. So before we get things started, uh, which was the elevator that we saw that crazy looking Other person? Side. So that was the uh, Port Washington bound elevator. Yes. So on that elevator, there was someone that was on the ground, right? Yeah. We don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was drunk or something. Maybe he was on on something, I guess. So for that specific elevator, we're not going to show it because unfortunately, yeah, we, we've seen some stuff. So over here, once again, this is your station house. Unfortunately, as of right now, it's closed. I don't know why it should be actually open, but that's not the case. So over here would be your entrance to the station house, right here where you see the doors. Where you see the yellow, that is, of course, the timings of when uh, the waiting, I'm sorry, when the station house is actually open. You're going to see your first sign of amenities. So over here is your new uh, display totem. Of course, with the pandemic still going on, you're going to see these uh, advertisements up. So the next train going to Penn Station, 352 Platform A, and the next train to Port Washington, that'll be the 355. And you're going to notice that there's a pattern because it's hourly service, 352, 452, 552. So for the Port Washington side, 355, 455. 555 and then the last one would be 655 so once again for customers that are taking the port washington branch for this weekend specifically or from this point on just know that weekend service is actually right now uh hourly even though before it wasn't actually half hourly it used to be half, hour. usually half hourly but who knows what happened maybe they're screwing up the customers on the port washington line right yeah. <laughs> there are a couple of things here already so here you have your bench and on that side, you also have it as well. This is a good way, of course, for people to wait for the train by sitting down on the bench. Obviously, you don't want to stand it up. Yeah, that too. Good point. So that could be for people waiting for the taxi or for the bus, whatever the case may be. Now, when it comes down to other amenities, you're going to notice that over here, you have your uh, USB charging station. So uh, quickly, Malik, because I know it's raining. So can you tell me what... USB port that is by yeah, any chance. That is USB 2.0. So that's a USB 2.0 port. We have eight in there, right? To be exact. Uh -huh. All right. So there you go. You're going to notice that over here, you have your first of two, one of two. Well, actually both TVMs. I don't know what I'm thinking today. It's because more than likely I didn't have my coffee today. So that more than likely is the issue. So right here is your classic TVM. So you're going to notice that there are positives already. You're going to notice that the LEDs are working over here. You have your new features such as the keypads, keypad system, uh, the new NFC contactless payment, and then of course your upgraded card slot and your bill slot. So the display looks good. Uh, it's not dim. It's not low in brightness. It looks actually great. Here you have access to everything one way, round trip, weekly, monthly for the month of June. Whoever still does that because of course people are still working from home, quote unquote. So what, what do you want to do? You want to do Great Neck to Penn Station? Sure. So for those that want to go from Great Neck here all the way down to Penn, that will actually be 925 one way. So if you were to do the math, of course you double that, that will be what? 1850. That will be 1850. So over here, I believe that is still tied to the Long Island Railroad and that is your new bike racks. So you're going to notice that there are one, two, three, four sections of your bike racks. It looks really good. It actually does look upgraded because the last time that I was here, like about three years ago, uh, that didn't look like that. It looked a little bit worse. So over here, you could say is also uh, the station plaza itself because you're going to notice that uh, once we uh, exit through here, we're going to actually be entering uh, the overpass that leads us to the Great Neck Station. So over here, we have your other set of TVMs. This is another classic TVM. Once again, the same features. Once again, this looks great. And I remember one time you used this, right? Cause something oh, yeah. happened in the TVM back in the Bronx. Remember that? Yeah. You got, you got, you sort of got robbed in a way. <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting robbed. Okay, so deals and getaways. You have all of this going on here, so that's great. Now, for example, if you want to do something absolutely strange, I don't know if we could actually name that. What random station do you want to name? Limbrook. Limbrook. <laughs> More choices. Okay, Limbrook. I don't know why you pick Limbrook. 2150. I don't, know, I, don't I don't know how that's possible. Again, you would have to, well, like what it says there, like you would have to, no, via Woodside. Via Woodside. Yeah, Woodside. So yeah. again, for whoever wants to do that, then great. And of course, there's another thing here that we also have to mention. Attention customers, all peak fares in effect. Once again, since we're in a pandemic right now, all the fares on the Long Island Road, doesn't matter if it's the week, the morning rush, or the afternoon rush, or if it's the weekend, all the fares are off peak. That's one thing we all have to keep in mind because you don't want to be that guy that pays peak during this during this uh, base of things. For those that like, for example, Dunkin' Donuts, like yours truly, you actually have one right there. And look, that's no 
ordinary Dunkin' Donuts. It actually looks, it looks a little like bit a different. Nice it looks like a house, right? Yeah. Maybe I've never, cool. yeah. I've never seen that, right? Because no, in in, uh, in Brooklyn yeah. they look all screwed up, like because they want to screw up Brooklyn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so over here we have signs, elevator. Where's the elevator, guys? It actually is over here. It's right here. <laughs> so we're gonna be actually going on this elevator in a bit, but we're gonna be also checking out this side of the station too. So you're gonna notice that there are a lot of signs here. Watch the gap, buy before boarding at ticket machines. What they should actually do to make things more specific is point the arrow this way because the ticket machines are actually down there. So it would have been much better if that was the case. Another good thing about this station is that there is Wi-Fi access at the station. Can you tell us more about Wi-Fi before we get it going? So real quick. Yeah, more than likely it's uh, <laughs> yeah. open Wi-Fi. So if mm -hmm. you need to uh, connect, if you don't have a data plan or anything like that, and you yeah. just need to connect to the internet quickly for something or make a call over Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. you can simply connect your phone to this open Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. Yeah, more easy. Tips. And more than likely, they place access points at the station in order yep. for there to be Wi-Fi access. So this is actually an older map of Great Neck. I believe because there are actually a couple of routes so I'm gonna have to you know be a little bit careful because there's actually a, a mic connected to me I'm not a robot but there's a mic connected to me so we don't want to trip that's what we want to try to make things a little bit clearer when it comes down to this so this is the map uh, obviously old so Great Neck we're actually right here the following station will actually be Manhasset and then of course the next to last stop would be Plan Dome and then and the last Washington. stop would be well, Washington of course here you can see it says waiting room tickets so over here let's say for example if it actually was open then you would actually lead yourself inside uh, the station house where you have uh, bathrooms where you have benches where you have also TVMs you have good lighting and you also have a waiting area so that's a good benefit of having this and of course right now since it is cold more than likely there's heating inside all right so let's get down and show you the rest of this plaza mind you this kind of reminds me of my station in a way a nuclear yeah, plaza it kind of looks like it in a way Platform A trains to New York, again, this should be Penn Station. Because we're already in New York, right? Yeah. But since this says New York, then, you know, what can we do about that? Over here, if you want to call someone, I don't know, your girlfriend or someone, you know, you're having problems or something, then you have a phone that's in the station. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. So if you want to uh, call your loved one or um, a sibling or whatever the case may be, a family member is not going to work because it's not working. And if it was, then you'd be actually getting free calls too. So that's something interesting. One thing that we missed here was this nice display totem. This is different because on the other one, uh, they only show what the, the information, yeah. like the schedules and all that. This one here is different. Look at that. I don't know, I don't know what that wow. is. Oh, and look, I didn't notice that. You have uh, the Long Island River sign implemented in gold. What is that, uh, gold or bronze? I that bronze. is bronze. bronze. Yeah, bronze. All right, so look. There's other nice things too at the station too. Here you have plaza, eatery. So if you want, guys want to get breakfast, guys gonna want want to get lunch get or dinner look that it also says dinner there you could go inside there as well and then over here you have a newsstand where you could get practically everything you want of course the lottery That's if you it. also want to play the lottery then you also have it right there and then other things chips of course very nice and then there you have it actually this here leads you to um the, the well, platform a because we were gonna go on the elevator but at this point since there's a crazy dude on the other elevator, you never know the likelihood of on this, on this elevator having another weirdo inside the elevator. So over here, what is this, guys? This is uh, a staircase that leads you to the station. Formal lighting, this is amber lights, the source of lighting. This is your staircase. Uh, doesn't look really the best, but what can you do? The steps look absolutely fine, even though you have some trash going on. You have handrails on both sides, because once again, we always have to think about you know, the elderly, because that's important. So great neck hours, ticket office hours. So I don't think that should be the, the, the stuff that we should worry about because no. no one barely goes to that. What we should be focused mo more is on this. Here it says waiting room hours. Monday through Friday, 6, 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Unfortunately, it's closed during the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. And if you want help, you dial 511 say Long Island Road and of course you state your selection. So that is what is shown in that information display. And actually another good thing is this over here so since uh, the pandemic is still going on and the railroad is not printing out timetables uh, there is an alternative so you can use your smartphone and you could scan the QR code here and let's say for example we're on the Port Washington line you scan this section of the sheet and then on your phone what will display it will display the timetable of the Port Washington branch so that was something that I want to mention because it actually is quite important 
So you're going to notice that uh, the walls don't really look good here. Look at that. I, I don't like this mess. See kind of like some dirt here. Rusty. Rust. That actually is the word that I was looking for this entire time. It's rusty. Here you're notice that the paint is peeling off over here. That doesn't really look that good. Here is your next couple of steps. Platform A in New York. So that's the other sign. Very important. You have your display board. It indicates you information. This indicates the fare zone information. So for example, since we are on Great Neck, we are actually on zone number four. We're on zone number four. And what? That would be the ticket? That wouldn't, would that be the monthly ticket? Which? $99? No. So what is it? Oh, for one person. 270. 270. Shit. But why does it say one? That's oh, from, the from zone, zone four the zone. to yeah, zone, zone one. Ah, okay, right. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit slow today. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Here you have this ad here. And then you have other stuff regarding COVID-19. Help the spread of COVID-19. Wear the mask on trains. Stop the spread. You have all this going on. Then, of course, for my uh, Spanish-speaking people. Está en todos detener el contagio. Pasos que nosotros estamos siguiendo para mantener los seguros. So you're going to notice that this is the platform. Platform letter A. Here are, this is actually the platform which will lead you, wait, two trains going to Penn Station. So this is very important because a lot of people tend to be a little confused about that. Here you have your sets and benches. You have one over here. You also have a charging station right here, USB ports. You have another set of bench right there. And then you have two signs, buses and taxis, New York platform A. And then you have your destination display down there, which we'll show in a bit. From here, we're just gonna show you the basic stuff. Here you have some signs. I don't know why they keep showing this for some reason. That's in they they, they kind of want people to move here for some reason. I Mind you, I don't know what's going on. Each time that we go on the Port Washington line, we always hear people whistling. What is that? Some some locals going on. I don't know what that what that's all about. Uh, it is because we don't want that here. We want we want peace. We want good quality of life. So here you have benches. Another one. Another USB charging station. Great. We're going to have to actually rush here because it actually is drizzling right now and that kind of sucks. What is that? A bank? BNB bank? Here you have your first transfer receptacle. Unless there's more down there. Yes, there is actually one, two, three, four down there. What's important about a transfer receptacle once again is that, you know, it avoids you from littering. If you have garbage, just dump it out. That's how you keep the train station clean. And you have um, a banner of the Mets. So for Mets, even though that's extremely outdated because it's now 2021 and that guy is suspended, you know, he's a, he's a moron for taking steroids. You should be ashamed of yourself for doing that. He's suspended for the whole season. So uh, if anything, you know, you, 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 should, um, you should go to the church and pray to God. Uh, no smoking, no vaping. Of course, that's not allowed at the train station. Indian kitchen for, for whoever likes Indian food. There you go. Looks tasty, right? Here you have your great neck sign. Very nice and big great neck sign. Of course, in the future, what the Long Island should do is put this red, right? Yeah. Why not? Because Great Neck branch. is not the main line. Great Neck is Port Washington branch. So I feel like that's something that, you know, the railroad should, I guess, start fixing within the future. So that in a way that improves accessibility in the case, especially for those that are blind. So the, in regard to the platform, not that much complaints here. This looks fine. Again, despite there being rain right now, not that much of a concern for me. There isn't many things that we should be concerned about, except for this here. This, I believe, is here to cover, I don't know, the, the cracks that are in this portion of the platform, I guess. Um, now, when it comes down to the warning gap, that completely looks fine to me. Now, you're going to notice on the opposite side, that right there, that's nasty. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> that kind of reminds me of a Murray Hill because that, that almost looks exactly like it. And that's not really good in the first place. Um, here we have more ads, a couple more right there. Wi-Fi, once again, there you go. And actually what we didn't mention this entire time is not only the speakers, but the lighting that is available at the station. Again, more than likely this could be either amber lights or fluorescent. We don't know what the case may be, but there you go. Those are examples of it. Uh, amber. amber, so Rail 9 Ambassador Rail 9 says that it could possibly be. Who knows? More than likely at this point, it might be amber lights. So from here, you're going to see a bunch of ads, speakers, of course, and this important sign here, buy before boarding at Sega machines. Once again, all Sega machines at this train station of Great Neck is on the street level portion of the train station itself. So from here, we're going to actually be protecting ourselves from the rain. You know why? Because yeah. we're going to be under this bridge over here. So that's great. The only thing that could affect us go over here could be the lighting because it's a little bit dark here and it kind of sucks. But from here, you're going to notice that uh, in a way, the platform starts to get a little bit narrow because you're, you're going to notice the difference from here to there. 
it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a big difference, right? You're, you're going to see that. Station sign, a great neck from here. Let's just go express because there's not that much to show. Lighting, of course, available. There you have your new example of your destination display. So this must be part of the station enhancement project at your great neck station. So that's how it looks. This is the new destination display at your train station of Great Neck. So that's impressive. That is great. Now, you know what is crazy for, for Port Washington? You see how they have it colored red? You see the red, right? Yeah. Why couldn't they do that for the destination? I'm, I'm sorry. Why couldn't they do that for the station sign? To me, that would have been impressive if they were to do so. But what could we do? From here, you're going to notice we're going to be leading ourselves to the ending of this platform. So from here, you're going to see a receptacle followed by the staircase. And you're gonna notice that the staircase is supported by this steel column that's here. Or I forgot what you call this. There's, an, there's another word for this. I, I forgot. Column? Huh, no, no, no. The, the material itself. I forgot the name of it. Huh? I, I forgot the name of it. Unfortunately, I forgot. But, oh, and then you have your bin, for example. So oh, yeah. we've done something crazy back in Limbrook once again. <laughs> Three years ago. I don't know, one day we're gonna mention it, but. I guess, I guess there are a couple of viewers that do know what happened there. So here you can see the staircase. If you actually were to go up the staircase, this would lead you to the street. And from there, you could visit Great Neck, you know, the town of Great Neck. From here, this will conclude the ending of the platform. More than likely, what you're going to see here is more of nature. So you're going to see a lot of trees, <laughs> lots of trees going on. You have your other sign indicating that you're in platform A once again. And to conclude it, you're going to see that from here you have just lighting poles. So you got one, two, three, four lighting poles to be exact. And actually all of them have speakers attached to them. So that's great. The reason why I'm saying that's great is because let's just say, for example, if you want to hear something going on, like a change with the Long Island Road, for example, like the, the, the service or whatever, you are in good hands because the speaker is right there, if anything. And another benefit is that when you take the train at night, you're going to have a lot of source of lighting with your lighting poles that are here. So besides that, when we expect the platform here, it looks perfectly fine. Once again, it's not the best looking because it's not concrete. It doesn't look like those modern ones that you see in renovated train stations, but at least sediment. it looks fine. Yeah, I think it's made out of sediment. That's what it is. Actually, what we didn't mention this whole time when we actually were in this part of the station was that there are actually a canopy here. There's one over here, and I believe that's about it. No? Unless there's more. Oh, actually, there's another one down there. Here you see a set of bench, followed by the sign. Once again, unfortunately, look, if you want to charge your phone here, that's not going to happen because, look, you have a, a what is that? A solar can? Yeah. That is blocking the way. Unless you want to take it out, then you could do that. Oh, you're not touching that? Do you want to take it out? No, I'm not taking it. Oh, okay. Over here, I don't know what that is. What is that, a movie? I Some kind of movie? Oh, so it's a musical. <laughs> Over here, you have your station sign, Great Neck, once again. You're going to notice that when we finish this whole platform, we're going to actually go inside this elevator and we're going to be showing the rest of the station itself. Okay, so here is your other destination display. So over here, once again, these are your new ones that you see in modern station rehabilitated stations. So we don't know what it says there. Okay, now it looks like we do have a mistake. You're going to see that there's like purple. Yeah. On, on the Penn Station side. So that 352 to Penn Station, that's going to be coming in 20 minutes. And uh, it disappeared. I don't know what happened. That basically means we should <laughs> keep going. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so this is another uh, display board showing you your fair information. Fair information, not F-A-I-R. F-A-R-E. Because <laughs> it sounds the same, but it's spelled differently. Another sign of Great Neck. Great, 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 great. Mind you, Great Neck has to be very great, right? Now, in terms of the platform over here it looks fine right not that much problems on this side all you see is just you know the rain sticking on the platform itself and a bunch of leaves all right so for the wall here because the walls will be rated in this in this station store yeah you see that right that's that's actually uh considered artwork at this train station because it's actually mentioned in uh, wikipedia which again we will rely on this station tour because you know it at least shows the information of the train station itself so for the walls here look it looks fine to me right compared to that nastiness down there yeah over here better. it looks better um a bunch of lights speakers and a lot of ads so look you wonder great neck must be rich you know all these sponsors it is a, it, it is a good area right once again home of john tapper right yeah. The guy that does the what is it bar bar rescue? Bar, bar rescue. All right, so we enter now the second canopy. So check this out. Followed by once again the receptacle, 
very important to have this because once again if you guys are in an emergency and you don't have cellular data then you can switch to Wi-Fi but what you don't want to do is pay stuff with this uh, Wi-Fi connection because it's not a good idea what you could do with this of course is check your email check for the no, train schedules check, no, no. don't check your email no. okay so don't check your email you know you know what you know you know what we should do or for people that want to use Wi-Fi here just check the schedule of the train that's it yes that's, uh, and uh, have a great day and from there that's all on them here's the canopy actually there's one more from here there's actually one more look at that so there was one here there was another one right there and then we have one more right there bench once again modernistic actually we didn't say how much is the occupancy for the amount of seats so you got one two three four five six so on each bench you could fit up to six people so over here same thing that's going to be the same case once again the benefits of having a canopy at a train station is that you will be protected from the rain that's going on right now so this is more of like a real life example at the moment because since it's raining one of the best benefits of this train station would be this over here and that would be the canopy what is this oh some real real know, estate stuff real estate again they, they like showing the real estate stuff over here i have no idea why now do you know how how, how much uh, train cars could fit at the station? Is it 10 or 12? I think it's 12. 12? Because look, look how long, yeah, it's a really long uh, platform. this station I platform is. Platform. It's quite long. And mind you, look, the rain is starting to kick in now. Yeah, it's picking up. It's picking up. Yeah. And you're notice my glasses are a little bit wet. Okay, TD Bank. Nice to know that they have TD Bank here. I support TD Bank. Where we're going to be entering now is the last point of the platform. Now, what we should do now is actually get inside that canopy because, yeah, it's starting to pick up. A little bit serious now it really sucks that we had to do a station tour on a rainy day but you know what we don't want to do this in june because in june we have our own agenda oh it's too hot all right remember long, the hottest was greenish right yes so yeah so this is the last point of platform letter a once again we are welcomed by this nice canopy here this is protecting us from the rain once again uh now what we didn't talk about is the state of the canopy the material looks good it actually looks painted well that actually looks like what brown heather brown yeah, brown heather brown. something like that that looks good now when it comes down to the platform some cracks go on over here with some rust too now the watch the gap fine you see that right here right that doesn't look really good neil so how are we gonna know what's the name of this like what does that say i know that says gap but what what's the rest of it so i feel like the railroad again they should always just you know fix it up because in a way that's important you know because people still will find themselves over here and you know there has there, there's a lot of carefulness when it comes down to stuff like that and you're going to see that we wrap it up here with platform letter a if you go up this staircase it will lead you to the street and actually if you were to walk down that side you lead yourself to the park remember that park we went to that time yeah. it was a nice park last thing that we will show is the old signals once again this definitely represents long i road you know it's old you know we need to modernize it because hopefully with east side access it could be the future of the like the blur itself so um we will show platform letter b and of course the rest of freight neck from here all right so we are gonna be heading inside now to uh the elevator what, what are you doing oh i thought you were gonna avoid us from going in there uh now first of all it's absolutely disgusting do you want to press a button street uh you have a bunch of beer cans they have more over here is. and then you have mess right there don't show it don't show it we don't know what the that is maybe people are doing you know what and i'm telling you guys by the smell it's disgusting not only is it disgusting but it shouldn't be allowed here yeah. but you know they're wow. gonna do whatever they want because it's great neck right yeah. <laughs> all right so we're gonna be showing you guys the stage plaza once again but the only difference is we're gonna be heading now to the opposite okay. side so what you want to do now is walk this way right what's that no you saw on your right there well what happened and you just like the, the elevator huh? no the the ones are down there actually on that other elevator you've seen that okay so over here is considered to be your overpass so once again the benefits of an overpass in this station is that it unites both platform a a platform a and platform b on this side so here we have some information going on north station plaza south station plaza the only routes that exist here will more than likely be this one the limbrook one i guess hopefully and then on this side it will be the n20g and the n21 because we did see an n20g and an n21 yep. at uh, the station 
So look, I don't know why there's like people. You see those people right there? They've been they've been at this station this entire time. I'm like, what what are these buffoons doing? Well, let's assume that they're actually going on it because that that's not really a good idea to have someone here. You know, it kind of scares me in a way. So. Once again, uh, we're not gonna be going in this elevator because unfortunately when we went here, there was someone that was on the floor. I don't know if they're drunk. I don't know if they were smoking cocaine or something or doing something, but it, it kind of sucks. Uh, what a bad way to greet us here at Great Neck. Again, it would have been better. But here you see your other um, display totem that looks nice. Now, you're gonna notice on the other side, you have your staircase that leads you to the platform. And then over here, look, come over here. Here you have your passageway to go inside the elevator. But once again, you don't want to go on that. It, it really sucks once again, guys. I mean, to go on a train station for the first time since a couple years back, and then you have like a bunch of weird stuff going on, you know, that's not really welcoming, in my opinion. It really isn't. Sorry for the rants here, I'm sorry. So let's get back to the information. Weighing room and ticket vending machines, platform A, New York, platform B. So look, this time, this time we're now on platform B, all right? B for, I don't know. Great Neck Plaza, taxi, stand on station plaza, or call 516-482-077 for taxi service. Now over here, you're going to notice that this is actually now the town of Great Neck. So you can see a bunch of nice looking stuff. So down there is where you would actually wait for the bus, which the we actually did go on, right? Yeah. The N20G, right? Here you have a couple of stores. So you have a deli, you have a laundromat, you have, I don't know what that is. You have a bubble tea for people that like bubble tea. You have a computer store, it looks like, because it fixes like appliances and you know mobile phones and all that. And then you have a coffee shop, so look at that. So that would benefit me, because if anything, what I would like to get now is that coffee. And for those that want to wait for Uber or taxi, this would be a great place to wait for it. Now you're gonna notice that the steps here for the staircase, not really good. I'm not really liking that. So when it comes down for the staircase rating, that's not gonna look that good when it comes down to results. So once again, we're now down to our last point of the station tour. I'll be a little bit quick this time. Here we're welcomed by this map, which you also see in the station plaza on this side. You're gonna see it actually right there, right? Yeah. Followed once again by another display board. Now when we look at the walls on this side, they could do a little bit of a repair work over here. So that doesn't look good. Now for the platform. And actually where we did all the segments was actually right here where you see this bench. Looks fair, but then again, when you see like the overpass itself, that could do a little bit of work, you know? And then right here, you're gonna notice that there's like this part of the tree that was chopped off. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone was mad and then Probably got rid of it. The... Or maybe it was the town of Great Neck that did that. Yeah. All right, so when we look at the platform right here, that doesn't look good. You see the cracks right here? Yeah, you can trip on that. And I believe, look, the result, yes. The result of that, look, aim, aim right here. The result of all this going on, that's why they placed this here. Sort of like to protect it in a way, I guess. Maybe that's why they did that. All right, let's walk this way. Here we have another display totem. Look at that. And we have some nature going on over here. Uh, and you notice that they didn't cut that, right? They, they should be cutting that, but we don't know what's going on here. Uh, now you're gonna notice when there's mistakes with platforms, you're gonna see that the railroad will choose to repair it well, by putting like a, like a wall, I guess. I don't know what, what that is. is. Like uh, plywood. Yeah, I plywood. guess that's what it is, yeah. yeah. You're gonna also see it right here too, because it's actually noted over here as well. Now, as we go from here, we're seeing more lighting poles. Now, you're gonna notice that Great Neck is unique for this specifically, because look how the lighting pole looks here. It actually looks different than any other train station that we've been to, right? So I guess that makes it unique in a way. You don't know that though. Huh? <laughs> you don't know that though. No, because I've seen poles like these on the next more. Yep, so over here, the platform also has, so for platform B, when we look at the status of it, it looks bad. Look, you see this here, you see that here, and then this, and then what we show back there, it's, it's not gonna get a good rating. So I'm just like, at this station, what they basically just did was put enhancements, like put amenities and that's about it. Some more signs going on here. Once again, you're not allowed to smoke because it's not permitted. It's just laws set by the Long Island River. Once again, this is uh, the part where the platform gets a little bit more narrow. And you're going to be welcomed with some amenities here, the totem, with some lights going on, and this little green thing here. I forgot what that's for. Is, does that have to do something with rush hour? Because I believe that's, that's, what, that's what it is in this case. Okay, so now that we're approaching this 
this nation's display. I like what the railroad did here. So for Port Washington, since it's red, they went ahead and put the color code. Look at that, red for Port Washington. Uh, the next station that will be, I'm sorry, the next train that will be coming on this platform, letter B, will be coming in what, 20, 10, 10 minutes? minutes? 10 minutes. So it'll be the 355 train. Here you have your staircase. So we're gonna go this way so that you can see it more on a better angle. All right. So this is how the staircase looks here. You're gonna notice that they have um, some signs here, station signs. This staircase that you see up here will lead you to the street. And of course you could visit the malls and of course the many stores that are available in Great Neck. So to wrap it up, we have this uh, cup here. I don't know what that is. Isn't that that uh, Korean juice thing? Yeah. yeah. Now, what, what, now what I didn't notice is that uh, there are railings here and then over there, that's more of like a gate, right? Right yeah, there? Yeah, that's a gate and here is railings. And here is railings. Okay, so we're going to stop here because if we keep going down, it's going to be basically the same thing, right? So to wrap it up, all you see here is railings, lighting poles with the speakers, which is a benefit. And then, of course, the platform itself. Uh, not that much complaint on this side when it comes down to the platform because it actually looks better. There's no cracks. There's no rust. Nothing going on that would concern us. Uh, the watch the gap signs are here and the warning strip looks fine to me. Doesn't look bad, but it looks fine. All right, so from here, we're going to be showing you the rest of the platform down there and we're going to wrap it up. Here's where we filmed the segments. So once again, we were followed by these nice uh, set of amenities, USB charging station with the bench, station sign, Wi-Fi sign, and of course the no smoking. So once again, it's here where we were talking about um, our frustration. So look, when we finish all the segments, right? And then when we were gonna go inside, when Mr. Rofan pressed the button, right? Open the door and then, oh my God, we saw saw someone on the floor i was just like you know what at this point let me just carry my cross because there's just absolutely so much crazy things going on here right elevator to street ticket office buses and taxis you guys get the point of all of that another nice destination display so this is the seat availability it looks quite empty right because yeah. if it was like orange or red that means it's full right yeah. all right so that means not that much people are going on a train today so this was the staircase that i was telling you guys about once again this is made different because this is made actually of steel in a way like the steps look better good. actually Thank and you. the handrails actually look better than what we saw down there oh man we have to rush it now because it's starting to rain really yeah, crazy now okay so here we have another display totem right here look at that L -Ny nyu langone health yeah. hospitals whoever goes to nyu langone there you go represent represent oh you go there yeah that's my hospital all right there you go so caraman goes to that too? yeah okay so over here you're gonna notice there's a patch on the walls not only there but also right over here now when we look at the state of the platform what do you think over here fair not that bad i mean it's, it's all right it's okay it's not, the best, not the best right, right? It's, it's fine. over here is more the same followed by a totem once again a lot of totems by the way you guys noticed that right yeah. a lot of totems featured uh in this side of the platform if you're wondering david, who made david, that david saunders david saunders conductors watch and keychain so um that's the person that made this so i would consider this more of like artwork because yeah, that's yeah. what it basically is right um nice. yeah and it looks great right yeah i don't i don't think this is more of like an attraction right but no, you know like a, like something, nice to look at. something something nice to put at the train station right yeah that that's what it is uh this here that doesn't look good once again that basically says that there are deficiencies uh in this platform not really great how's how's the camera looking it's all right it's all right <laughs> all right so that train that's going to be coming in that'll be coming in four minutes great we have to rush it up because you see what's going on right all the rain that's coming down yeah that's the result of why we rushed our ass to this canopy over here all right so third review of the platform that looks great there right not that bad once again you're gonna see that there's a lot of ads placed on the wall you have lighting speakers and then of course followed by the destination display here would be what we considered the last canopy at the station once again we are grateful that we're under this because we are not getting uh, smacked around with all this rain that's coming along followed by two benches over here once again and each bench you could fit about six people again unless you're unfortunately overweight then that's not going to be the case um once again what's also important is this station sign over here where it says port washington platform letter b if you want to go to plan dome for example you would have to stay on this uh platform to actually get to that uh, specific station now if you want to get to what station flushing right let's say you want to go to flushing main street you would have to go to that platform and you'll have to wait for a train to pass by and there you go you will get there and party starts to come in 
So with that, that will wrap it up for this station tour. Again, with the weather going on, we cannot waste that much time out here, unfortunately, because we were going to do it a little bit longer. But what can we do? To wrap it up, this is your last staircase. You want to actually walk up there and check it out? All right. Okay, so this is what will be considered to be the station plaza. Once again, you have your N20G bus there. And then you're going to be greeted with this sign here once again. Great neck. I know you have your roundabout. Check that out. Those are rare here in New York. Very rare, right? Because you rarely see that here in the boroughs. So that does it with the station tour, guys. I hope it wasn't long enough. But coming up next will be the rating segment. All right, guys, so this will be uh, your rating segment for the Great Next Station Tour. So the difference you're going to see here is that it's going to be express. We're not going to be talking for hours, minutes, and all that. No, we're going to get to the point, say the result for rating, and then the result. But before we get to that, we're going to welcome uh, one of the viewers on this channel. Uh, his name is uh, Javi20, right? That's your YouTube channel? Yeah. That is your YouTube channel. And if anything, what I'll do is I will put the link of his channel so you guys could go ahead and uh, subscribe to his uh, YouTube channel. So for lighting, we're going to give that an 8 out of 10. We're going to give the platform a 6 out of 10. We're going to get the speakers a 7 out of 10. For the TVMs, that got the perfect score. So it's going to get a 10 out of 10. Perfect score once again. Uh, for the walls, 6 out of 10. Station house, 8 out of 10. For destination displays, since that's one of the upgraded amenities at the station, that got a perfect score and it got a 10 out of 10. For the overpass, 8 out of 10. Staircases, 7 out of 10. For the elevators, 7 out of 10. And for your overall rating, for your station of Great Neck, it will get an overall of a 77. As you can see here, total result will be 77. And in the CUNY base system, that will be a result of a C. Because if it were to be a 78, a 79, or an 80, that will be a C plus or a B or a B minus, right? It's an, it's an okay station overall. So once again, we were followed by a viewer that happened to come out of nowhere and join <laughs> our segment once again for your rating segment. So I once came again. Out of nowhere. Just a bus been here and I didn't know you guys were here definitely, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, rain, snow, heat, or cold will still be here. So with that in mind, guys, that does it with your rating segment. Coming up next will be your finale segment for your great next station tour. All right, guys, so this is your finale segment. So once again, we were here at your great next station on the Port Washington branch on Long Island Road. So for today, we were welcomed by two guest viewers. So once again, this is a Hobby 20. And come along because you are the ambassador True. and the face of the Metro North Railroad. So by the month of June, you're going to be getting yourself your shirt for ambassador. Oh. And mine too. And your too. <laughs> I said you were the ambassador for what? The buses? What's yes, the, the buses. Get me a bus one. Casey Stengel? That's yes, the Yes, Casey Stengel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's what it's called. You said that you know a lot about it. So, you know. Yeah, that's All right. Sure. All right, so with that in mind, uh, the station wasn't that good. The rating said it all. The overall was all was 77%. It was you know, okay. There could have been much more improvements. Yep. Yeah, it was okay. Well, apart from the fact that there was a lot of here. Yeah, he was on the elevator and it got out of service because of that. Because, you know, that's sure. how it's supposed to be. And she has to, has to be helpful with the homeless problems. Mm -hmm. well, they're not going to do it. So with yeah. that in mind, um, lots of disappointment at the station despite uh, Great Night getting a lot of amenities. It, it just proves that without it, you know, the station wouldn't look that good. But with that in mind, we will not take that much time here. It is actually raining right now, and I actually am hungry. And I want to get going to the restaurant. So other than that, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And of course, thanks for watching. Yes, sir. See you guys in the next video. And subscribe to me. I'll be making a comeback to YouTube <laughs> on June 26, 2021. All right. See you guys. Very nice.